right, looks like we have time for one more after this gentleman gets his coins. So just one more. Who's going to be that lucky last person here to get that red book and get that coin looked at here as Jeff is going to be wrapping it up here in just a couple of minutes. Coins over here. And I, uh... There's your red book. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> No one there? Uh, they're professional, uh, 2009. Professional line. Yeah. You know, these I don't think have a lot of value. I, no, I don't uh, know. You know, they're not, not you know, they don't okay. that much. They do have some uh, 1930s, 1920s. The dice, dice truck errors. Yeah, I don't do a lot with mint errors. I would recommend you go to John Sullivan's table. Okay. He has a table here for mint errors. Okay. And that's what, that's what he specializes in. Beautiful. Okay. You can have a red book and hope that Thank helps you. you. So much no problem. Chandra. Happy help. Um, what was the name again? Uh, John Sullivan. John Sullivan. And he's got a table here. He does mint errors. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right. So our final participant is about to take the stage right here. And he'll make his way over here to meet Jeff Garrett. And we want to thank everybody who was part of this activity yep. here. And also, but especially thank Jeff Garrett for being a part of it, taking his time away from his booth over in the 500 aisle. Very, very busy man as he's involved with a lot of things. Charles Fallon, P-H-E-L-A-N. To Charles, and what's his last name? P-H-E-L-A-N. P-H? E-L-A-N. Good. There you go. Is that worth going to get a slab? No, not in that condition. You know, it's an 18, it was if it was a, uh, a C or a D, it would be worth a lot. But is this? It's it's just a circulated, you know, 1854, yeah. and it's it's what we call extremely fine condition. Yeah, it's worth around six hundred dollars, but not really worth getting graded. Yeah. And we have some Japanese. Yeah, I don't I don't have a lot of I don't have much familiarity with those. I just see the U.S. coins. You know, that's fairly common, though. Yeah. And this is a sovereign. Um, this is just worth its melt value. These are worth, even, you know. Even, even that in that shape? Yeah, well, it's what they call, like, extra fine condition. Now, there would be some, you know, if it was, from like, like, from a better mint or something, but you'd have to show it one of the uh, the British guys or kind of know it. But it's, you know, sovereigns have been going back for a long, long, long time, and they're yeah. mostly pretty common. Yeah. Um, is this proof of? Um, oh, yeah, I think it's the 84, I think. I think the 84. You can look at it, yeah. If I do, is that worth yeah, I think it. I think it's proof like, and probably great, could grade sixty four proof like. So that is worth sending in. Yeah. Yeah, but it's in an economy though, because it adds up. Those grading fees add up. So. Um, what is it? Like? It's like two hundred bucks. I mean, twenty bucks, right? Yeah, twenty. Th but you think it's shipping back and forth like that? Yeah. This one's probably not worth grading. It's like a sixty three. This one. This one's not. Yeah, that one's a proof like though. I think. And this one is, uh, this one's pretty nice. This is a great 64, so this is a nice coin. This is better, much better than that coin. I would send those two in. Send these two. Yep. That's it. Okay. That Hope that helps you. Wait, wait up. Let me show you something else. <coughs> send that one. <coughs> what this? This was great, like MS sixty three. It's got a it's got a scratch on it that goes right down through here. Yeah, that's all. Right. And that kind of hurts it. So, I, you know, it's on the line of whether or not it's worth sending in or not. This one's definitely not. This is like a this is like AU condition, though it's not worth sending in. And this one, uh, it's got cleaning on the back. It's proof like, but it's been cleaned. So that won't that won't do any good on that. Yeah, I, I, I can't really see where it's been. I mean, I see a little yeah. bit where it's showing. The I seven S. You can turn it in the light, and if you turn it in the light, you can see like a chamois look to it, just through the surfaces. Chamois, it's got little lines. Yeah. So definitely, definitely would not grade. And this would grade uh, like AU55. Not a bad coin, but it's not. It's mint states where they start getting the valuable on those. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Okay. Um, hope that helps you. This, this would mean a lot to yeah, my father. Yeah. That's awesome. I hope he enjoys it. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, be worth your trouble to do. Yeah. All right, have a good day. 
Okay, good day. Hope you enjoy the show. Yeah. What's that? What's that? Oh, I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, thank you, everyone, who took part in our free coin, our coin appraisal here. Jeff Garrett from Mid American Rare Coin Galleries. Jeff, on behalf of the uh, Great American Coin and Collectibles Show, would like to thank you for the time that you spent and providing your expertise to our showgoers here. We definitely do appreciate all that you've done for us, and uh, wish you the very best for the remainder of the show. Thank you once again, Jeff Garrett from Mid American Rare Coin Galleries, the 2024 Clemmy Award winner. His new book, or well, actually his reissued book, is coming back out soon. Check Whitman Brands. That's where you're going to find out more information. And I think we're going to give up that microphone and uh, send him back onto his uh, 505 location here. <laughs>